Uh, welcome in, everybody. Okay, we are going to be checking out this uh, video real quick before our album streams. We're going to be checking out... Uh, there was an interview or something with uh, Nurgle from Behemoth. Um, not really a fan. Um, and Nick Nocturnal did a little discussion piece on it. So we're going to be uh, talking about it and uh, going over it a little bit. And then we'll do our album reactions. So... Don't start a traditional metal band. I agree with it. They're also a really good example. Yo, bro, go go be famous. It's wild, man. Behemoth Nurgle, he, he, he said something which was interesting. Which I think actually is, is a bit of a heated discussion, but I think, uh, I think it's pretty important. Behemoth Nurgle is serious when he says don't start any bands right now. It's tough out there on a lot of bands right now, and Behemoth Nurgle realizes that as much as anyone. So much that in a new interview with Chaos Zion, he act hold on chaos sign chaos sign has this zoomer never heard of a magazine chaos zine Z anyways okay actively discourages people Keep from starting new bands uh the pandemic is the reason the gears of music industry and machine are grinding creating issues in all sorts of ways when the world was shuttered it reset nearly every band's album cycle and put them back on the road uh, with brand new albums at all exactly the same time. Without off cycles to keep to help keep things balanced, markets are oversaturated and fans yeah, can only see like so many shows. That, but... Do you think it reset their No, because there was a bunch gave of the bands more that were time. already had their albums out and then or a lot of bands waited and then put it out. Like I don't think a lot of bands put out albums I'm and then they had like reset, like I think if anything, it. I think if anything, it gave people more time to do music than reset anything. Like it just gave. You know, I, I don't know. That's just a weird. Listen to so many albums. Okay. On the economic side, there's a rising cost to contend with, which is an absolute nightmare for bands as they try to remain profitable on expensive tours. And also recoup some of the money they lost during lockdown. Plenty of artists have even had to cancel tours due to logistical issues. They were suffering massive financial loss. Yo, like, again, like, much much love to all my music homies that are in bands, right? I'm so lucky I'm not in a touring band. Like, you guys are always like, yo, Nick, go on tour. Yo, Nick, when you when you touring with Termina, bro? Yo, bro, go go be famous. That's what the bands do. The ter no, what the f***? Why do I want to be on tour? This is not easy. You're if you notice that his, uh, his mute... Uh, his little sensor thing is the subscribe button. That's kind of smart. Too bad I didn't think of that. You're away from home, all this sh But, like, you're investing in a tour. If anything goes wrong, your tour gets canceled, and you guys are in debt. Like, think about well, that. Well, like, first of all, if you're in music to make money or, like, to be profitable, like, you're already doing it for the wrong reason. And that's, like, already, like, the uh, yeah, one I thing. Feel, I feel like, like that's such a weird... Like, I don't know if people actually, like, think that. Like, I know people do that with, like, YouTube. People are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I want to get big and famous and make lots of money. But that doesn't <laughs> – it rarely happens. Um, I don't know if people have that mentality with music. Uh, I mean – I don't know. Uh, I, I'm sure there's some people. Nurgle, you know, <laughs> maybe Nurgle. Who's already in, like, a huge Who's already band huge. Already... Yeah. 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 Like, it's more volatile than fucking crypto. But, like, you're investing into something, and all it takes is one person to get sick, one vocalist to have a fucking bitch fit and go home, and your whole tour... Oh, that sounded very specific. Uh, you saying something about, uh, about what's-his-nuts? It's destroyed, and you, you lose... You, you, you're not, you don't only, Leave Andy not out of this. Not only do you not get money, you are in fucking debt. Like, it's expensive, bro. You need a whole fucking accountant to go on a tour. It's wild, man. And it's crazy because this is like the main financial income for so many bands. And like that to me always blew my mind because like if that was my like again, like I'd fucking go insane. Like I'm very thankful I have YouTube and Twitch and Patreon. Like I'd go nice I gotta it was say just like, one thing. What? I feel like this only really applies to like big huge bands that are already touring internationally because like you listen and you see on Twitter of like hardcore bands or like smaller bands going on tour and they have a huge fun time. Like, yeah, they're in debt, but they know they're in debt. Like they're not yeah. in it for the they money. They go to the network and kind of like, just yeah, they sleep on people's floors and like 
stretch the money as much as they can because they're in it for the music and not the money like <laughs> yeah like i've booked bands before and like not many of them have like asked for like actual like you know sediment like they'll ask for like maybe like a hundred bucks to 300 bucks or something you know for the night um which 300 bucks is kind of hard to <laughs> to meet if you if you don't yeah get a lot of uh ticket sales but you know they don't they're they're not trying very hard you know to not always i don't know yeah. and tour therefore i'm fucking broke as f but this is the case this is just the music industry and how bands are set up yeah the world is overwhelmed with bands with records with albums there's really no space there for anything he explains yes there is there's only seven days a week there's too many tours around there's too many shows people don't have and will have less and less money so all the just tours make are better suffering. music and then, do you uh, really want to put listen. another song on the album that no one will pay attention to no you don't want so i will say that uh, he says there's too many tours around and people will have less and less money i don't think there's too many tours but uh you know ticketmaster and shit you be charging uh quite a bit for some shit once again that's for mostly huge artists and huge yeah. bands that are already established and that or you know that is their life they are making money off of that and you know i mean if i was making a lot of money on tours and stuff and then i lost all my money i'd be mad but like uh that's kind of like the price you pay because you're in a huge band like okay don't just have don't have like an entire stage show and like fireworks on your stage like play like small clubs or something and like you know charge less like yeah killer's tacos go because you're charging <laughs> less like killer's tacos people want to go they will go but like, like just be better than everyone else so yeah like, people so people have less and less money if they go to fucking giant fucking fucking what's the when we were young fest fucking every three months you know uh they stop especially doing whenever like bands charge like 60 dollars for a fucking t-shirt like, yeah stop using ticketmaster that's that's all you gotta do stop using ticketmaster yeah boycott them i'm gonna do that so what should you do instead go find yourself a proper job finish university travel enjoy life don't do this see that's so, another thing gonna... it, maybe because it's like free or cheaper in your country doesn't mean it's easily accessible and like necessary for everyone in the world that's like that's just yeah. a boomer opinion finish like, finish university every, like... is like that's literally get a job go no. to school like that's <laughs> no that's the most that's even more expensive fake, fake metal fake metal that's what that's what that is boy behemoth sucks now behemoth is balls say something else controversial Besides this, finish university. If you're a doctor and like whatever, like you're something that, you know, like stuff like that, that like I, I like, you know, you go to the dentist or the doctor and you're like, huh, I kind of wish they went to school. That's important. Go get a university. But like from a, a lot of shit, university, you do you, boo. I learned fuck all from university. Yeah, and pointless. I went to York for fuck's sake. Like yeah. I, I went to like the business fucking school for accounting and shit. I didn't learn a lick of business. All of my networking, business, finance knowledge I learned was from the internet was from fucking YouTube. And your boy's doing all right, <laughs> okay? I, I mean, I didn't invest in crypto, so your boy's not doing so bad, right? Yeah, that's the only part I don't agree. Other than that, I'm gonna be real here. I agree with it to a point. I agree with it if he replaced Don't Start Bands with Don't Start Traditional Bands. I agree then. I uh, think what, yes, what we're shitting on Behemoth Nurgle's right now. Being is just, he's being a bit of a nihilist, but he's being a fucking realist. Everything he said here was realist. true. There's no, too much. There's too many tours. Cap. Like there's tours that are stacking on top of other tours. Bands, you know, okay. uh, fans. <laughs> Just be a better band that sticks out, and maybe people will go and see your band. You know, and not just playing the same fucking death metal record. You know that what is people have heard like over and over and over. Like, oh, my stream title didn't update or something. I guess. Uh, it's now we're not doing morning and Uh, no, like. I, some of my fondest memories were when tours did stack on top of each other and we'd get we'd get two tours that would like meet up and do like one big event like the uh scream the prayer and all stars tour in 2011 like that was like some of the biggest shit yeah but you know all those like huge bands like behemoth are gonna be like oh well i don't want to share the stage and get less money like okay well
Fans can't decide what to go to. You, tours are expensive. You guys know how much it is to get like a fucking ticket? I've been checking for some of these. Like it went before the pandemic. What? It was like 30, 20, 40 bucks. Now it's like a hundred plus. No fucking cap for so many tours to see. Like as consumers, tour is fucking expensive to go to tours. Big ones with you're gonna huge Wait, to see who? What did he say? Plus, no fucking cap for so many tours to see. Like as consumers, this shit's expensive to go to tours and that means you're gonna just have less disposable income to go to tours more often but there's more I tours to go he to because there's more bands on the road so that's tough and then you know putting a song on another album that no one will pay attention to i mean yeah a lot of bands like i haven't seen any tours that are above 100 like other than like fucking blink 182 Paramore, Taylor Swift. that kind of shit the the afi show in count like how the one thing like Every all their, their the rest of their entire tour is like fifty dollars, so I don't really know what he's talking about. Hundred. So all the big artists. What bands is uh, he fucking seeing? Jesus. You know, he you know Behemoth. he's probably not going to local shows. <laughs> he's not going to local shows like ten dollar shows. Like neither is Nurgle from Behemoth. Like you know, they're both not. Like, he probably gets recognized too much now. Shit, I don't know. Like okay, <laughs> so that's your fault. Like you put yourself out there. Like okay. <laughs> Fans are just putting out music and no one f***ing cares. There's so much music. Again, the traditional route, like touring is hell. Selling music's hard. Merch is how, however good you are at selling and understanding the internet. A traditional band is f***ing hard. So again, if, if I, I agree with Nurgle, if, if he's more so talking about traditional band. However, this modern, how... the internet band. I'm not going to use Termina as an example. Because frankly, I think the band that actually is just winning right now is actually Darko, and no one's talking about them winning in this capacity. Are they winning? Darko, mm, two no members, one really talks about two hundred thousand monthly listeners on Spotify. The they sell out merch. They don't tour. They don't tour. They sell out merch. They have two hundred thousand monthly on Spotify. I'm just gonna. I bet I, that I'm just gonna throw this out there. No shade to Darko. Darko is cool, but uh, but that merch is a. Uh... That merch is kind of whack. <laughs> like <laughs> for thirty five dollars, uh, this little this little tee that with the little tiny dart. I I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, about trust that. me, no one's going out there being like, man. Did, did they make Did they make band. like ten of these? Like he needs to be talking about like Ice Nine Kills doing fucking monthly yeah. merch drops. Like that's but that's their merch fucking... is actually cool. Yeah, like it's fucking. Yeah, they make they make money from their merch. Hello, merch. They have 200,000 monthly on Spotify. I bet that band is making more money than most bands that are at a, mo a million monthly listeners right now. Because they just get, they're not signed to a label. Uh, that's a, that's a reach. They just get to milk 200,000 monthly listeners and they're selling out merch. It's Spotify. Todd's probably making more money from Darko than Chelsea Grin. That's possible. And I also think Josh is no probably one talks about making Chelsea more Grin, money so. from Darko than spite or than he did in a mirror you mm. want to fucking find and you know you want to go that m i'd say spite's a fairly big enough band they make they make some good shows they make some yeah good they're like songs. on rise records like, yeah uh they're uh, on uh, like like darko's like good and like they put out some good stuff but i don't think they're like i don't know i, I feel like that's just a little bit of a reach yeah no one's out there like really going like yeah darko is like the band like mm, niche maybe yeah. modern way which again that's what termin is trying to do like they're doing it way better than us like no cap no 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 shame like i'll say that any day they're doing it way better than us we got to get our game up um like that's how you do it you do this internet shit, you push with social media we're in the modern fucking age and uh what label is darko on what label is Dark? I don't on? think what they're on a label. I feel like they might be on somebody. What? What? <laughs> Darko U.S. Holy shit! Um, and this, according to Google from DarkoBand.com, it's an unsigned, uh, which does make sense. Go touring until it's worth it. A band that I. A band that I think did a mix of both worlds was Shadow of Intent. They're also a really good example. They started as an internet project, you know, Chris Wiseman, Ben Dewar. Then they just they they just released music, they sold merch, and then they started touring later. 
and they they have a full career. I, I wouldn't even include the touring part personally. But again, I don't know how financially beneficial it is for them. I mean, maybe that it isn't is, maybe that it isn't. How I bands know, used I, to I'm start not... in the beginning anyway? Yeah. Like, like that's not that's not anything different. It's not new. They're accounted. But Chris is a smart dude. I don't think he would do it unless it made sense. So I'm sure they're making good bank from touring too. But that's after they grew their band. They they didn't do the old school thing of release an EP and then tour and can be homeless and, and, and have to deal with that shit. They they made it stable and made sense. Does that mean you now tell everyone to not start event, to not start streaming because the market's always said you? Because that's what Nurgle is saying. No, because streaming streaming has an extremely low barrier to entry. So I don't agree with that. Touring has a huge. You go to watch a show. You have to pay fifty dollars. You have to spend your whole night, your time, maybe take a day off work. You have to travel there. There's travel costs. That's what tours are fifty dollars? Like I don't... you stream something, what? you're at home or you're taking a sh. You press the like button. even like you go to see like Spite and stuff like that. Like those are like twenty dollar, maybe thirty dollar tours. Plus like, like fees, fifty dollars like... maybe for like some like summer slaughter type shit through Ticketmaster maybe. I paid fifty dollars to see Under Oath and Spirit Box, and that yeah, was probably, after like, fees. Spirit Box would but be the ticket was actually like twenty five dollars. And it was like twenty five dollars in fees. So like, I mean, it's like, I feel like they're both exaggerating a little bit here. So that's why I don't agree. I don't agree with that comparison. But I see where you're coming from. But the other usual routes of a band being financially successful are becoming harder and harder. They're becoming more expensive for the band to do, and then more expensive, and then that it's also becoming more expensive for the consumer, both financially. And both time-wise. Now, this is the tricky part. Is some bands just like to. That's also how inflation works. Right? Yeah, it is more expensive for everyone. Like, some musicians live to perform more than they do to write music. They live for traveling and performing and seeing their fans. That's something you can't exchange. Like, you can't, you can't say, you, you can't pick something else that's going to replace that. You have to tour to get that. I'm lucky. I don't give a f Okay, I, I don't I don't have fun performing. It's more stressful than anything. It's tough, man. Like the touring life is f Well that's because you're in a prog band. What? You do prog stuff. <laughs> I imagine being in a prog band is uh is a little tough. Hard. So if you're a new band and you don't you could somehow avoid doing it and you don't care about performing that much, you'll be fine. But you gotta be smart as f like you gotta know your way. You gotta create hype. You got to understand social media. You'll be fine then. And I think there should be more bands that are doing that. But you got to find ways to stick out. Don't just assume making good music makes you stick out. It doesn't. Yeah. It fucking doesn't. The good music is a given. It's the start. If you don't make good music, you're just fucked then. There's, why are you even here? That's, 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 that's just a, you have to make really good music. Now you're a player in the game. Now you have to do all the other stuff that people actually care about. So yeah, like mm -hmm. I said, I don't fully, I don't like 100% agree with Nurgle. I like 80% you don't have to. Uh, it's tough, man. If you're a new band, just be aware. It's tough. And yeah, f travel, enjoy life. I think that's good. Finish university. I mean, it's, you you do you, boo. Apparently, my gr or great-grandfather oh. played violin, and he was apparently like well-known back in the day. So there's some musical talent there. Sadly, the musical talent dies with me, and um, I have none. Okay. Uh yeah, so I don't know. Um like I don't even agree with really like he says don't start a traditional metal band either. Like I I don't understand that either because whatever music you put out is going to be, you know, as long as you're doing it to make the music, you you come out in the music and someone out there is going to like your music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think you have to be do something different and special to to have to make it. And like if, if that again, like he's that's what's kind of conflicting about this is he's he's basically saying do something different to stand out and be successful when but also saying don't plan on being successful. <laughs> so, like, I don't uh, that's the, this kind of a little conflict of uh, interest there. Um, I don't see anything wrong with making a, a band, um, even if you're just writing, you know, normal ass metalcore, because 
Look at how much generic metalcore is out there right now that is absolutely fucking killing it. And I just, and I'm like, yep. I, I don't fucking know. I, what is this? Like this, <laughs> this is boring and <laughs> I don't understand it. So I, you know, that, that's not really a really good point of advice right there. I think, you know, if you, if you want to make music, you know, as long as you put yourself into it, uh, that's all you need. And someone, someone out there is going to like it. And that's your base is people you being genuine and people liking your genuine music like that's all it is like i don't need you have to write good music that there's not there's not, there's not a lot of good music that's really popular yeah. so i don't i don't know how to market it yeah you do have, i will say that that is one thing uh you, tiktok you gotta you gotta know tiktok if you if you do want to blow up your shit right now uh you gotta be good with tiktok facebook no facebook won't do shit for you Twitter, maybe, probably not really. That's going down in a shitter as well. But mm. TikTok, TikTok's really TikTok, and then doing some other shit, you know. Uh, but for sure, social media is where it's at. But uh, overall, you know, I'll put the the original video link in there if y'all want to go see the original uh, Nick Knock Turtle video. Go check it out. Well, let them know your thoughts over there and stuff, and let us know your thoughts down below. And uh, if you ever see any other type of creator stuff that you want us to react to, uh, give us a comment, let us know, and uh, let us know how you thought about this.